Hello guys, as always, myself Bharatendu Bhusan. We are here to solve some basic question and answer sessions on Mongol and China relations. So basically, let's start. But before, if you are new on my channel, then please like, share and subscribe the channel to get continue notifications on some important updates and important topic. So basically, now let's go to understand the basic questions and answer regarding Mongol and China relation. Friends, as you know, if you ask, then what is the conflict between the China and Mongolia? Then, friends, Chinese authority have said an attack on remote checkpoint in Inner Mongolia was due to a provincial border dispute. A state media reported the area is said to be claimed by the both Inner Mongoli Mongolians and resident of Nigvoring Gangus province. Now friend the next questions is Mongolia controlled by China? Friends, Mongolia is an independent country, sometimes refers to an outer Mongolia, sandwich which means China and Russia. Inner Mongolia is an autonomous region of China equivalent to a province. Now friend, the next question is, how did Mongolia lose China? By 1279, the Mongolia leader Kubalai Khan had established the Yuan dynasty in China and crushed the last song resistance, which marked the onset of all of China under the Mongol Yuan ruler. This was the first time in history that the whole of China was conquered and subsequently ruled by a foreigner or a non-native rulers. If we know the demography of Mongol peoples according to religion, then friends, religion in 2020 inside Mongolia 51.7% Buddhism, 40.6% no religion, 3.2% Islam, 2.5% Sahamanism, 1.3% Christianity and 0.7% are there. Guys, if you know and understand the government, the form of government inside Mongolia, then friends, unitary semi-presidential republic types of government is running there. Next question guys, is Mongolia a US allies or not? The United States established a demo, de, diplomatic relations with Mongolia in 1987, bordered by Russia and China. Mongolia described the United States as its most important third Negro in 2019. The United States and Mongolia upgraded their bilateral relationship to the strategic partnership. Now the next question friends, what the Mongolia think of China or what the Mongolia think about China? The Mongol perceive China as a just one section of their vast empire and they classified the populations of their domain in China into a hierarchy of four groups with the native Chinese at the bottom. Now the next question friends, is Mongolia is a free country or not? Academic freedom and culture freedom are respected as the freedom of assembly and associations. Mongols are free to move within the country, travel abroad, move abroad and move back from abroad. Foreigners living in Mongolia must often exist visa in order to leave the country. So on this ground, we can conclude that Mongolia is a free country. Now the next question friends, who killed Kubai Khan? Basically Kubai died at the natural cause in, nine, in 1294 at the age of 79 or 80, an extremely old age. Now the next question friends, was Genghis Khan a Mongolian? Friends. Mongol leader Genghis Khan from the 1162 to 1227 rose from humble beginning to establish the largest land emperor in history. 
after uniting the nomadic tribes of the Mongolian plateaus, he conquered huge chunk of Central Asia and China. Next question friends, why did Mongolian Empire fall? Answer is the empire began to split due to war over succession as, a, the, as the grandchildren of Genghis Khan dispute whether the royal line should follow from his son and initial there from one of his other son such as the Tolui or Chatakai or Jochi. The next question friends, was Genghis Khan a Chinese or not? Friends, we define him as a great man of the Chinese population, a hero of Mongolian nationality and a giant in a world history, said Gao Warong, the manager of new Genghis Khan. Mosoluni, in China's inner Mongolian province, Genghis Khan was certainly Chinese. I think friends, you know lots of about Mongolia. So if this is important section to you, then please like, share and subscribe. Don't forget the channel India INQ to got continuing notification and important updates on the national and international topic. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Have a nice day. Take care and goodbye.